God said, you want to see me? Look at Jesus. Amen. Just look at Jesus. Look at what he did. Look at the sacrifice he made. There it is. Oh God, surely there's some other things. Surely there's something deeper. Surely there's... If we get into the book of Leviticus, maybe somewhere we're going to find something. It'll just give us that extra little mm, that we know about God that nobody else knows. Here's what we proclaim to you. God is light. In Him there is no darkness at all. And you know what that means for us? You know what that means about us? To walk in the light? That means we got to quit hiding stuff. All the stuff that's up our sleeves. All the stuff that's in our closets. All the stuff that we don't want anybody else to know and we want to pretend like that's not us. We don't do that. We don't have a problem with that. He said if you want to have fellowship, we talked about the word fellowship. If you want to be in the same boat, two fellows in a ship, okay? If you want to be in the same boat with us and with God, you just be honest. If you claim to be without sin, you're not walking in the light. You're not. If you're hiding parts of your life, if you're hiding parts of your life from each other, I, you know, I think <laughs> things are changing in our world, but in, in the old style of Intimate relationships, moving towards marriage. We had this thing called courting. You remember that? Okay. Now, this is all past. This is all, you know, this is like talking. Oh, those are nice days. Okay. And you, and you got together and you decided that you, you know, you really like this person. And, and as a matter of fact, you, you have feelings of love for this person. And, and so you commit, you are engaged. Right? And you know what the engagement period is about? Test. It's a test. This says, okay, I am going to be true to you. You're the only one in my life. Okay? And you give that a test for a while. <coughs> and you give it enough time to see what the actual person is really like. The only problem is that people can fake it for a while. Right? And have you ever heard this scenario? Then he got married and all of a sudden he changed. <laughs> she changed. Have you ever heard that before? Have you ever felt that? And they said, the guy said, well, no, I didn't change. No, you're right, because you were faking it. You were faking, you were being somebody else for that time period until I made that commitment to you. And then your real self came out. You no, know, the truth is, I really don't like going to operas. <laughs> Okay, why didn't you just be honest about that before? Or she says, you know what? Getting up at 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the morning going fishing just does not charge my batteries. Oh, you used to do it? I was faking it. Why weren't you just being honest with me? Why weren't you being real? Why did you have things hidden in the darkness? Well, I didn't think you'd like me. I didn't think you'd commit to me. I, I didn't think you'd stay with me. Well, I didn't know who you are. How in the world could I commit to you? How, 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 how do I know to like you? Because I don't even know who you are. The intimacy we want in relationships is we want someone to know who we really are and to love us anyway. Right? And we want to give them a chance to let, us, let them know who we really, who they really are and, and to feel loved anyway. Now, what do you want with your relationship with God? <clears throat> you want to keep pulling one over on God? You want to keep fooling God? And guess what? Yeah. Guess what? Do you, you want to keep your image of God that He didn't reveal to you? 
Do you, do you want God to be somebody else? The one that you think they got to be? Guess what? God is light. And in Him there is no darkness. At all. And to have fellowship with Him and to have fellowship with the other, each other, you know what we're supposed to do? Walk in the light as He is in the light. That doesn't mean being without sin. i got to keep bringing that out because that's where we go. That means, that means that, 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 that we have to whip up on all this stuff and then we can have fellowship. And no, 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 no. You find a church where everybody's whipped up on their sinful nature, you're not going to belong. Neither will I. Because if we claim to be without sin, we lie. And the truth isn't in us. But if we walk in the light, if we're honest about our own sinful nature, we're honest about the ways that we're not like God, then we have fellowship with each other. And you know what he says? The blood of Christ purifies us. Yeah, what we celebrate. What we're going to celebrate this morning. That's celebrate. We just remember that that's what purifies us. Continues. That's a continual verb there. It continues to purify us if we walk in the light, if we walk in the darkness, if we pretend to be somebody we're not, if we claim to be without sin. There's no sacrifice. So, here are your options. You can be real and feel God's love. You can be real and feel the love of each other here. Or you can be fake and pretend like you feel God's love and pretend like you love the other people around you. What's it going to be? Every Sunday, we meet that decision. We take the fruit of the vine that represents the blood of Christ, that sacrifice, and we say, yeah, I need this. I need to be purified. I am not like God. I have a sinful nature. God is holy. God is God, and I am not. And I'm in the midst of people who believe the same thing, who love me anyway. And I don't have to pretend. And I don't have to pretend that I know something about God that they don't because that message is so simple and so beautiful and so amazing. And we sing about it. Jesus loves me. This I know. Because the Bible tells me so. It's so simple. So powerful. That we can share it. We can share it freely, openly. And we don't have to embellish it. We don't have to make it palatable. We don't have to market it. We just put it out there. God is light. In Him there's no darkness at all. And He loves you like you never be able to believe or understand. And that's what Jesus is about. And we're a bunch of people that know that. And we don't walk in darkness. We don't think that God has got some trick up his sleeve. We don't think that there might be a whole another chapter to a test that we didn't even know about. We don't think that there's people that know more than somebody else. It's all right there. You look at Jesus. And we are a church that follows Jesus. Amen. That's what we do. Let's read it again. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is light in him. There is no darkness at all. Amen. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not put the truth into practice. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us. <coughs> From every way 